Hey guys, so here is an update on the coil that we picked up in their brooder box. And they're doing just fine and dandy. Got them here with the light. Uh, we're trying to wean them off this light. And the temperatures are going well enough. But that's not why we're here today. Why we're here today is because we have empty cups. Now, here is, on the last video, we was running this two color laminate cotton candy and blue i'm happy to say that's done and i just took the rest of the blue because i ran out of cotton candy and ran some panfish crappie uh, lures here threw a grub in there a little crawdad another panfish and then the the x shad i haven't ran the injection one because i'm running the uh running the open pour a lot and speaking of open pours here is here is the open pour version of this guy. So, open pour, injection. Make sense? All right. So, blue is done. Cotton candy is done. Black and chartreuse, I ran all these. And since I've ran out of color, I've been running straight chartreuse. Uh, so... Those are all right here, and there's a variety. Of course, the X Shad. Uh, here's some crappie jigs. I got that four inch grub, I guess. I don't know if you want to call that a worm or a grub. Your call. You call it what you want. Did a uh, crawdad with a chartreuse belly with that gray smoke uh, back and crawl got that done basically i got everything done except the frog ran out of, of plastics on that frog so we'll uh we'll save that when we get to the crap cup which i've added the blue and the the cotton candy and now we're down to finishing up the stuff here so let me get this cleaned up i have in the microwave both of the remnants of that chartreuse and gray smoke let me get this cleaned up and i'm going to show you what's really cool about the fusion x we're going to use the five inch worm and the five and a half inch worm these two injection molds right here you can hand pour now here's the thing see the hole if you run the plastic and make sure that while you're pouring it you only cover half of that port half of that hole you will fill this up and these molds and the four inch rib these molds in particular you can hand pour without an injector they advertise it that way, and I've done it many times. So, I don't necessarily want the 4-inch rib. I think we're going to have enough plastic to do uh, the 5.5 and, and the 5, and then we'll save the frog, which I, was, I just poured the belly, and I ran out of material to inject. So, just the belly of the frog is going to be that chartreuse, and then I figure we'll just use the crap cup, whatever color that is, We'll make that happen with the frog, okay? Now, mind you, we're going to have some chartreuse and black in there. So let me get this cleaned up, get this cooking, and we will hand pour the five and five and a half inch Fusion X worms. So we're liquid here. And we're kind of liquid here. Quite enough here. But we are here. That's weird. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to pour. Oh, about that much into that. And we're going to pour. Oh, about that much into that. 
And then we're going to pour. Oh, about that much into that. About that much into that. Then I'm going to switch back. Why this is still hot. Pour about that much into that. Come back over here. Pour about that much into that. Give that a little more time. So when it hot, well, are we still hot? I want you to be a little more warm. A little warmer than that. Okay, so I'm layering colors here. You see what I'm doing? And I hope this is coming across because my phone is incredibly dark right now. Oh, I hope this. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Alright, so we're going to finish off this guy. with that and then we'll finish this guy off too and the trick is not to cover the hole you cover the hole you choke off the plastic I'm just trying to get down in there and then just let it fill alright so what I've done here you guys saw it just as simple and plain as I did it. Unless I mess something up, we should have a blended color chartreuse, then the smoke gray, then chartreuse, then that smoke gray, then chartreuse, then that smoke gray. So let's try it again. Let's go ahead and do that four inch rib. These three molds from Fusion X supposed to be designed to do that and if none of these turn out we'll throw them in a crap cup and we'll make that happen because I'm ready I'm ready to finish these colors off anyway so if these turn out great, if they don't, then uh, oh well. But we'll try it again. I've done this before, it works, it works, and it works. So we'll try it again on the uh, four inch rib because we still have colors left. Still have plastic left. <clears throat> and I'm gonna try to alternate this one mold with those two colors. Hopefully it'll come out nice. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I think I, I uh, we'll see what happens. I think I screwed this up. I think I, I filled, I plugged the hole. Hopefully that's enough heat to get that down in there. 
okay and then we'll just grab grab this hex shad here and hopefully that'll pick up the slat and then we'll clean this cup out Not enough to get that last one. All right, we're done with this cup. And if we're done with this cup, we're going to set these aside, clean those out. And now we are officially, however these turn out, however these turn out, our cups are empty. Those are the last two. We are moving on to the crap cup. What color is that going to turn into? We're going to have to see. We're going to have to see because we are done with our outstanding color everything is mm, all right all right so let's set this aside we know what those are going to look like set this aside because we don't need to deal with our mess right now okay so first one we poured right here second one we poured right here let's uh let's see if this is cool enough What happened? Hopefully it turned out. Okay. There it is. I got a little air bubble and a dent. It's still a little warm. But there we go. So a little chartreuse tip. A little blending. You can see where the colors ran. You can see where the some of the chartreuse ran down the edge. Right there. Let's take this off. That this is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool effect. All right, in the crap cup you go. We're done with you. Put this mold away. See if we had a good enough result or a different result with this guy. Because I didn't measure anything. I just poured approximately. All right, so here we go. Chartreuse tip. And then the, the black smoke. You can see where that ran down the side. And then up here, it's kind of blended. I don't know if you're going to see that. But there's a little chartreuse in there and we will unplug that so we got two pretty cool effects right there i like them so we'll put those in a water bath crap cup crap cup put this guy away and let's see if this rib is ready to come out what i like about these is they're not aluminum they cool down really fast and they give you a pretty quick pretty quick quick demold so let's uh see what's happening with this guy okay this is the side that i did not pour down this is the side that i poured down let's get rid of that so there's this there's this line where are you at there's this line running down this side it's not on this side so it kind of looks like some internal Oh, look at that clump of glitter. Look at that clump of glitter that kind of stuck in the middle right there. So it kind of gives an internal design. I'm kind of, I'm digging that, digging that. So that's a trick that you can do. I, I don't know of any, any, any other mold I, I have that I would even try that on. But the Fusion X molds are designed, these three in particular, to be hand poured without an injector. So if you don't have an injector, you don't want to make your DIY injector, you don't want to do any of that, these particular, this set is a good set to start with, is their, their worm set. You can hand pour these guys, and I just showed you, you can do it. So there's that. We got those done. Let's go ahead and pull these two out since, uh, since we're here. Chartreuse X Shad Open Pour. Chartreuse X Shad open pour. We'll trim those up. And of course, there wasn't enough to make this guy. So that guy will go in the crap cup. Uh, we know what these look like. You've seen them a hundred times. We'll uh, clean this off. 
officially moving on. All right, so cool effect with the uh, cool effect with those two. Uh, let's throw these in a bath. So this is it. The very next video you see for me, we will probably check in on the quail again, but we are definitely going to melt the crap cup down and see what what colors we're gonna get out of all of this. What is all this going to turn into? So the, the official crap cup, the remnants of everything, we got some pearls in here. We got some grays. We got some of that sashy shad. We got some greens. We got bubble gum. Got some of that orange from the Walmart red glitter or orange glitter. I forget. I don't know. It's a Walmart stuff. We got lures that didn't quite make it. Lures that uh, weren't perfect. We got uh, remnants of the previous crap cup. I have no idea what color we're going to get out of all this, but we're going to find out because this is our next melt right here. So we'll see you next time. You guys take care. Thanks for coming along on the finale. Plus, we got to take this cup as soon as it cools. Our smoke gray and our chartreuse. We got to pull those, get those cleaned up. Get those stacked up over here. And uh, before we melt this down, we got to definitely include that hot plastic still. Let's do a little housekeeping. Get everything back. I got another shelf made. So we're going to get that there. Put our stuff over here. Get a little more organized. Don't like that at all. Okay. So we're going to get a little more organized. But we will see you next time on the remelt. Whew.